Yeah, I thought you was gonna go in a direction where you uh where you said where you were saying that some women pick men for money and some men accept that. That's the direction I thought you was gonna go in. Cause I think a lot of women don't understand that when they say, Oh, you know the only thing that's attracting her is your money, like men don't know that. Yeah, the only thing that attracted you is my money too. So, you know what I mean? Some men understand the assignment. Hey, that's why we tell men, hey, look, there's a few ways that you can get women. Almost guaranteed. Sometimes you got to pay for them. Some of them don't have. Some people ain't got to pay for them. But for the most part, we understand the assignment. Some motherfuckers know that, hey, the only thing that's keeping this chick here is my bread. So as long as she does what I need her to do, I'm cool with that, with that arrangement. I would say in regards to the prenup situation, I'm not here to tell anybody what to do. I just want people to understand the consequences of their actions. So if you choose not to do a prenup, if you choose not to do, uh, take those precautions, understand what can happen at the end and don't complain about it. Jeff Bezos understood. He took. He knew he didn't sign a prenup. He knew he had to split his bread with her. He split his bread with her and he was like, all right, it is what it is. You have to know what you're getting yourself into and accept the consequences of your actions. Nobody's telling you that you... Oh, shit. Watching that damn Cedar Point video. Nobody's telling you to do one thing or the other, but if you, if you if you make a decision, stand on it and live with the consequences that, hey, I know I did this. I might lose half one day. If that happens, I'm cool with that. Don't come Bro, back I and cry to the congregation when shit hit the fan and she done took you, she done took you to the cleaners. Don't come back and cry. You knew what you were supposed to do. You didn't do it. So, so I think that uh, what Sweeney, I mean, what what, what Trev was talking about earlier, probably worked for arranged marriages where people knew they defined role and it was a transactional relationship, and they probably grew to have affectionate love towards one another potentially. But either way, they knew the the role and they they kept that transaction until death. Right. Um, we are in a different time frame right now. So back back to uh, Trail's point about there's some men that don't like women and want to be in relationships without liking women. It's never going to work because in, in this today's in this today's society, women by and large want something uh, more interconnected than what their their foremothers or forebearers were, were able to get. Right. So the the type of relationship that that that. We're, we're moving forward as far as the, the therapy that people are getting, the way that people are communicating, what we are, are trying to share as far as dysfunction. Um, there's a lot of growth that's attempting. We're like we're at the very beginning stages, but people are attempting to grow and elevate themselves and become more spiritually connected and, and find more meaningful relationships and moving forward. The whole if I'm just going to be a, a breadwinner and that's my whole role within a relationship. That's not going to work in this day and age from the, from the women I talk to and, and the, the women I interact with. They're all they're all saying something similar. Like if I don't like him and I get in, and I think this is wrong, if I don't like him and I get in a relationship with him, then he has to bring something to the table that's worth me sticking around. The problem is markets fluctuate, uh, uh, inflation, all these things. If your relationship is dependent on the financial market being stable, you should just have sex with them and continue moving on. If the only thing that you bring as a man to a relationship is finances, bro, you, you probably should just stay away from a relationship until you learn who you are and what, what you need to connect with another person. These women want more connections than ever before. And it's, it's not a hard ask. And and their their switch from that is you you don't have to have as much money as you may have been required previously, as long as you connect with them in the way that they're trying to connect. And and that's what I've been noticing in conversation. So you have you, right, Mark, but you put in everybody in the same path, you put all women in the same category. We can't we can't do that. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying that this is what? the majority of women. I'm saying that there are certain men that get along with certain women that just are there for that. I know women who were just there that are cold hearted, that don't care about nothing. They just want to make sure that they can survive. It's about survival for them. That's the reality. All these women are not wholesome. You think all these women want connections out here? Are you watching social media? You think sexy rare with a connection right now? Maybe she do. But from what? Like, look at these females out here, man, that's doing this crazy dirt out here, man. These females is for sexy. I'm red. talking about different types not of women. There red. are some good 
There are some good women out here, right? That want connection. Me personally, I would want a woman who wants a connection. I understand that, but I can't knock somebody who doesn't want a connection. If that, as long as they know what they want and they're presenting that to the other party, it is what it is. We can't make it out like we're, even though you say what you want is affection, that's still selfish. That's what you want, right? Or that's what she wants, right? But not everybody's going to want the same thing. We all going to want, that's not my cup of tea, maybe. Maybe that's not your cup of tea. Like, it's different for everyone. There are some men who really don't need that. And there's some women just alike that just don't need that. It's just about survival. You see, every how many times we complain about how women don't love men anyway? If women, if women could just turn on you as they do, right? You watch these women disrespect these men on a daily basis. You can't say that a woman loves a man who she disrespects. You want a connection? These women will isolate you. They weaponize sex. They will verbally abuse you. Everything. And then you're saying that they want connections. Not like that. This, 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 that isn't behavior that someone who wants a connection that exhibits. That's just so, not it. So, so Trev, I think that's a byproduct of somebody. Um, I, I know some y'all you, might. I think my, my brother Shannon disagree with me about this part specifically, right? When I was saying, "Hey, y'all ain't even said it yet." You listen. I disagree. All right. So I think uh, when we was talking about um, some women don't believe you're him for her, that don't prevent them from getting in relationships though with men that they don't feel like are him to her. They'll still do it if it's beneficial to them, and in, in, in a scenario where they feel that it is beneficial to do that, they will trade up in those scenarios. You will have a high divorce rate in those scenarios. So when I'm saying that these women want connections, they want the connection with the person they want the connection with. And if they can get that, I do not see them leaving hell or high water. What we see is women feeling like they settle at times. And you, you, I'm, you know, when, when you being used, right. And it sounds like somebody, some people are, are, are willingly going in, being used and being OK with it. But you useful until you useless in that scenario. And it's going to continually run back to that same cycle. You're going to be repeating that if she feels like you're not that for her and you're just doing something for her, she you're only there as long as she needs that thing done. Have you ever have you ever watched somebody watch two people and just Wait, hold, hold on, sweetie, Go sweetie ahead. hold on. Marcus, this this connection that you think that women want on some level, mm -hmm. which I think is shout out to no, Coach man. Greg Adams. <laughs> you know, men are in love, women are in business. Mm -hmm. And you said, even yourself, the women that you spoke to said, Well, you know, if I can't have that, then they gotta have something to the table that's gonna make me be there. And you just said that you know but i if there's some other benefit there then i'll jump in it well that right there trumps the whole i need a connection part it should be if i don't have the connection and i don't want it but that ain't what women are saying women are saying well i i, I want a connection that's what they're telling you, your friends your family or whoever's you talking to i want a connection but if i can't get that then i'll take the bread that's what the women is ultimately saying so then that tells me that women are in business because if i can't have what my heart is desiring, then I'll accept, you know, a, a nice bag. I'll, I'll take the bins. I'll take this other consolation prize or whatever this guy has. Now, if he ain't got that and a connection, then I'm out. Men want the connection and all the other stuff is, you know, it's like I want it the right way. I want I want the love or I don't want nothing at all. So to me, when you say that women want this spiritual I, I don't know if that's what you meant by connection but if, if it's something about love and agape and just having this wonderful bond with her man Ow. but if he don't bring me that then i'll take the bread then she's in then the bread that's all that matters anything else before that don't matter she's in business do you, you, you see what i'm what i'm saying because i don't men don't talk like that men is like man why, why these women don't want me for me and we're trying to get men to understand bro this is you know uh, 